being grouping nationally and internationally. We now are going to be opening it up for questions, for a couple of questions. We have time for just a couple of questions. And if you would like to ask a question, if you could come to the microphone that's in the middle of the room. We can entertain your questions. Anybody have any questions? Okay. So please introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Jay Quigley. Hi, Jay. I'm wondering what are the most uh, effective topics that you've found uh, or bringing up in the political sphere? that you found are effective for, uh, for uh, bringing up in the political sphere? Yeah, so what are the most effective topics that we can bring up politically? Uh, if I can say something about the Netherlands, we have huge factory farms, so that was a very important topic for us. But last year, for example, um, the use of uh, wild animals and services was prohibited, which is also a very good subject. And actually, we address every subject, even it's even it's a, a goldfish in a, how do you say that, a round bowl, um, and pet <coughs> farms, and dog breeding, and, and everything. So, yeah, I, I agree completely. Um, my colleague here said, I mean, every issue, there's really not one most important issue. I mean, factory farming <coughs> could be considered, um, it affects billions of animals. So, on that level, it, it has a greater impact for its elimination. However, on all issues, I mean, in New York City, they're, they're doing geese slaughter in parks because they apparently people don't like geese droppings. So the solution is this is round them up and gas them. So that's, you know, that's, so that's a fraction, a fraction of a fraction of the amount of animals that are being affected as opposed to factory farming. But it's really equally important because every one of those lives is an individual as well. So I agree. Um, I don't think there's one issue. I mean, anything that, you know, that captures your attention. Anything you feel passionate about, anything, you should be lobbying and, and, um, and fighting for it. Excellent. Next question? Hi. Uh, I'm a non immigrant, a worker here. Can I get involved politically? Do I, can I go to these campaigns? Can I impact? Can I be of some impact? <coughs> I'm sorry, can, can you go to what campaigns? Uh, to these political campaigns, fundraising. Because I don't have voting rights here. Oh, you don't have voting rights? Yeah. You're not a citizen? Yeah. Well, you know, they're going to take your money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's my experience with politics. If you can check, you can go to a fundraiser. And a check and an email is pretty much all it takes. Um, I, I can't speak, you know, I'm not a government official in that respect, so I, I, I don't know, and I'm not an immigration attorney. So I don't want to say anything that I'm not an expert on, but my experience with fundraisers, you have a check and an email, you're in. You talked about meeting with the uh, political officials. Can I still do that? Well, you wouldn't be able to identify yourself as someone who votes for them, that would be honest. But, um, so I don't think you can call yourself a constituent, but you can say, I live in your district. I mean, that would kind of be true. So you just, you just want to stick to the truth. And um, I don't think anything is stopping you from going. Okay, so time for one more question, quickly. <coughs> Hi, I'm Christina. And, um, Spontaneously not bring it up, but do you have any other, I don't know, device on that? 
I think you're doing exactly the right thing. You have to just kind of um, get it in when you can. And I was at a deposition once, a couple months ago, and um, one of my adversaries, there were two of the lawyers there, and a client, and a court reporter. And one of my adversaries, I mentioned a doctor, and the adversary said, oh, he's something. And I said, well, actually, the doctor's a sheep. He goes, oh, I'm a sex pig. And I said, don't insult the pigs. And then it opened up this whole conversation, and we started a joke, and then I started talking about, you know, pigs are very, actually, very emotional, intelligent beings. As a matter of fact, they're treated really poorly. In fact, they're going to for this whole tangent, and the court reporter's listening, and the other attorney's listening, and the one guy's like, well, I, I work out. I'm like, well, you look like you work out. You really don't need all that animal protein. You get protein and go to be <laughs> Well, this is great because now we have a new, we're going to have a new video on how to take effective depositions <laughs> and be vegan at the same time. Well, thank you, everybody. And, I, and, and so I just want to say animals don't have a voice, but we are their voice, and words matter. So feel like a hero. Make your legislator feel like a hero because you've got to be in it to win it. Thank you, everybody.